circuit today. Damn, what the hell? I swear I'd be eating. I feel like I'm getting stronger and bigger, but the results on the weight part are not there yet. I don't even want to tell you guys, but it's 136.0. That's really, really light, honestly. It's like less than when I started. I don't know how that's possible, but it's okay. We're getting better slowly but surely, and I can see the progression in my climbing a lot more, so that's good. At least I have some progression there. Weight-wise, not so much, but I really appreciate all you guys' continued support, and I'm just going to keep going. And this series has been really fun, so it's just been helping me stay focused, replace these bad habits with better ones. Ones. And yeah, man, I'm just thankful for all of you guys. Thankful for this journey that we're on. And let's go get another workout. And come on. All right, everybody, we're back again at the lovely, the lovely Jimmy. We're gonna do some back and chest today. A little push pull circuit. It's good for climbing and whatnot. And I think working the chest and the back on the same day can be really beneficial. We're starting to see some size increase, which is crazy. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let's get right into the workout. We're gonna start with a little band work, a little hang from the from the pull up bar ski. You guys watched the last video at the climbing gym. I did a lot of negative type movements on the pull on the workout. So today I'm gonna really be focusing on that as well. I felt a lot of good growth in my chest. So today I'm gonna continue on that, do more negative holds and stuff, and see if the growth continues. All right, this one's gonna be an assistant hold up and I'm gonna do negatives at the top and hold them. So if I can get my foot into this guy. Oh. Right, once you get your feet all situated in there, it's gonna do a pull up and hold. Hold at the top. Right at that bend. Right at the contraction. Let it burn you. <sighs> Breathe through it. <sighs> Just holding, feeling it all, and then let it down slowly. Same thing. Explode up, hold. We're just gonna do about three reps of this. Nice. Feeling good, feeling good. Make sure to just hold it at that contracted position. You're gonna get the most burn. All right, the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do close grip. So you're gonna hold in close and have your arms the other way. And then you're gonna hold at the top here at that 90 degree angle. Just feel it. Really feel that burn coming in. Like activate these biceps like no other. Like the burn is so much more crazy, I promise. I'm engaging my core and my biceps like a movie. All right, we'll do one more rep of the wide and one more rep of the close grip. All right, now the close grip. Great work, everybody, great work. Next one we're gonna do, it's gonna be like the sword and the sheath type vibes where you're basically pulling cable itself back, but we're gonna stick to that negative type movement and just hold right when the lat starts to feel super engaged and just hold here. Just breathe through it, let it, let it fill the blood there. You're gonna feel a crazy burn. Arm starting to shake, that's good. Keep your arm a little bit bent so you don't hit the triceps as much and you really focus on that lat. I can feel my lat super engaged right now, which is exactly what I want. You can use the, the grip, but I'm like using the ball. Just do one more, one more round. I'm like feeling my back to make sure it's engaged. Yeah, it's all tight, that's good. Stand far away enough so you can actually get a pull. I kind of was too close on the start of this one. So I wasn't getting as much of a burn. But the more you step out away from the machine and pull back, it'll activate your lap more and more. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna do one more set on this side. Step far back as you can. Engage him and hold. You can always like touch your back and make sure your lat's actually engaged. You really wanna feel it, let it burn out. We're just burning out on these negatives. All right, switch sides. Make sure you keep your elbow back. Damn, son. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's him right there. All right, continue on this negative movement vibe. We're gonna go right into some chest flies and hold at the point of contraction in the middle and just let your chest burn out there. Just hold it right here. Really feel it. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. Other side. Ugh. Breathe through it. Back to this guy. Good old negative jump. Hold it at that spot. If you don't know that by now, but in this video, I don't know what you're watching. <laughs> 
Yeah, I swear, this is actually better than doing a bunch of reps. I don't know, maybe. Maybe we'll see some crazy gains soon. Other side. Keep that back straight, it'll help get your chest more engaged. Holy moly. Next up, my absolute favorite, bent over rows. But we're gonna do a negative hold on this one, same thing as we've been doing this whole video. Holding it at that contracted position to get the most benefits. Legs wide, ass out, hold that jump. I need more weight, I can't feel it. Plenty of stuff. Oh my god, that's amazing. The negatives, I think, are the one. I think that might be the game changer, guys, for real. Another set of these. It might look weird, but I swear, I think it's working. All right, next one we're gonna do, guys, rear delt flies. Get yourself on the pec deck, put them all the way back. Keep your chest up and angled upwards so that you can really engage the back when you pull back. And then we're doing that negative movement again. We're just gonna hold at the extension and let it burn us out. If you do pulses at the end there, when you're right before you're about to burn out, you're gonna be like, I hate my life, <laughs> but it's great. There's really, really nothing a rear delt fly negative hold can't solve, you know? It's just, just the one, I think. Chest up. Now that's great, dude. That's actually so far. Oh my God. This type of workout's gonna give you like a different type of pump. Pump that maybe you haven't felt before, but it's a great one. You definitely should, guys should give it a try. All right, we're gonna be taking a little bit of a detour from what we've been doing in this workout, the negative stuff, and just go do some obliques and then back extensions on this guy. So opposite foot forward, take, take the weight you got, let it hang with your arm, and then just let yourself down and explode up. Incredible burn, incredible. Right arm down, same thing on the other side. Holy shit. I love this thing for the least. Also feels good on your hips too. I feel like I'm bulletproofing all the hips. All right, we got a few more movements here. This second to last one right now, we're just gonna do a simple press, but again, negative movement on the end, so. Also emphasize keeping your elbows in like this more, so when you're holding it, you can really get the chest to actually flex compared to your elbows out. Not gonna engage the same way. My chest is shaking. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Oh. Try doing a rep after that. That's f last set on these, get a weight that you can barely do like six reps on. And you're just gonna burn this. Elbows in, everybody. We're gonna end off today with some good old face pulls. Get yourself a nice band, or you can do the, the hand holds that we were doing in the other video. The hand placement thingy is taken, so I'm just doing this. On this movement, don't keep your arm back like this. Keep your elbows inwards and your hand back further than your elbow. Uh. All right, last one, everybody. Here we go. Test up. Hands back further than those elbows. All right, everybody, that's gonna conclude our push and pull day. Let's do a quick pump check, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow, all right? Look at that chest pump, that's crazy. Chest is filling out. Feels good. Back. That's crazy. I don't really ever have chest, let alone any definition, so it's really cool just to see some growth in this series. There's definitely been some minor changes in, to my physique, but in a really positive way. So hope you guys are enjoying the series. I will see you guys tomorrow in the next one and I wouldn't be here without you. So with that being said, I'll see you tomorrow. And thanks for watching. Peace, peace.